All right, moving on. President Obama made his final State of the Union speech this week and it was his statement on finding a cure for cancer that made big headlines. Now, last year, Vice President Biden said that with a new moonshot, America can cure cancer. That's for the loved ones we've all lost, for the families that we can still save, let's make America the country that cures cancer once and for all. And the man in charge of the moonshot, Vice President Joe Biden, lost his son Beau to brain cancer last year. And to discuss this further, I'm joined by the Director of the Children's Medical Research Institute, Professor Roger Riddell. Good morning to you, Roger. Now, as someone on the cutting edge of cancer research, what would you like to see happen and is this possible soon? What I'd really like to see happen, Edwina, is lots of bright people come into cancer research. We already have great people in cancer research. What we need is young people, people who are still at high school to get excited about mathematics and science and lots of people to bring diverse skill sets into cancer research uh, so that they can really crack this problem. All right, it's education. Uh, those it's people... Recruitment, it's innovation. Um, Roger, the president called it his moonshot. Of course, that referred to JFK's famous speech. And it took the time Neil Armstrong walked on the moon, eight years between the speech and that time. Could cancer be cured in that same time frame? I, I don't think so. I, I mean, I think it's important to realise that some cancers can be cured now. I'm absolutely certain that eight years from now, there'll be more cancers that can be cured that can't be cured today. If President Obama and Vice President Biden are able to persuade Congress to really back their bold vision for cancer research, then I'm really confident that the number of additional cancers that can be cured um, in eight years will be, will be much greater. Um, but I don't think we'll cure all cancers by then. I think it's very important to, to realise that not every cancer is the same um, as, as another cancer. Um, uh, so it's a very difficult problem. Uh, but there will be more cancers that can be cured in eight years' time than can be cured today. Well, it's good to have an aspiration, isn't it, Doctor, and a goal. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.